Hey, soldiers. So, I'm just about to um, go to my next stop at Fattis Get Done Eating. And um, I just thought about this one thing. I was actually talking to somebody. And they were just going kind of like over their life. They lived in a bad neighborhood. And um, was just kind of like, you know laughing about not like laughing at themselves but like normalizing the fact that a lot of the people in their family have been locked up a lot of people that they know um you know rob and steal and all that stuff like that and they were like laughing like yeah you know this is what we do this is what we do we we you know we go to jail for life and we we if anything we gonna rob or we gonna take and i'm just like you're talking about it so normal like that's normal to do honey i'm here to tell you that that's not normal that's not a normal thing and if you are really pulling it out to the fact that you see that every generation in your family somebody has been locked up for life or something has happened bad then you may be that generational curse breaker you might be that generational curse breaker because you see the curse. You see it. You see the pattern. You see that this has been going on from your grandmama people, your mama people, your people, like the people before your your, your great grandmama, like, you know what I'm saying? Not saying it was your grandma, but saying that generation, right? So it's just like if you see the pattern of something going on past generation and it's going the same thing as in the next generation and the same thing as in the next generation and the same thing as in the next generation then something is going on and if it's not positive this is negative this is something negative going on something is going on and if you're the one to see that because it, it's been going on for generations but it hasn't been somebody strong enough to really see it or even if they did see it they wasn't strong enough to say something about it right they wasn't strong enough to say something about it they wasn't strong enough to do something about it and yeah sometimes you be like well what am i gonna do like who am i you are somebody because you're the reason you you don't who even seen it you don't even seen the pattern you seen the pattern of generation you sit down and was like wait something ain't right every generation is the same thing it could be going to jail it could be marriage it could be you know not having kids it could, it could be it could be anything right so let's just say for the marriage like for families that marriage don't last in their families or they don't never get married and this is what happened for generation and generation and generation we don't know what happened in the past when we wasn't here and we wasn't born we don't know if there was covenants made that we don't know about and it's not for us to know but those godly downloads kind of tells you right it kind of tells you because it leads you to different things for you to know something ain't right something ain't right and if you the one who's figuring out that something ain't right then you are the generational curse of breaker of your family you the one that is supposed to change that you're the one who's supposed to try to do something different and it's not even trying because the things that you are going to do different they're already going to come in you so it's not even like, oh, I got to try to find it. It's like, you already going to know because it's already going to be something that you want to do. Like, I got to talk about this. I got to do this. I got to talk to somebody. Like, what is going on? Right? And it's like, once you really feel like that, you have to step up. You have to step out of your comfort zone. You have to step out of your comfort zone to make sure you be what you need to be so the next generation after you don't have to deal with what, what, what's been going on. Because it's not about you. It's about who come after you. Right? Like even, I, you know, for me, it's not, I don't want, everything that I want to build, everything that I feel like God is telling me to build, it ain't for me. I'm doing it. Yes, I'm doing it. And I'm putting it together. And he's blessing me for me doing it. But it's so I can put it in place for the generations behind me. It's so I can build it. So the generations behind me already coming into what I'm building. Because what was already done before me, it wasn't right. And it's not even to say that it wasn't right because who am I to judge? But it was showing a pattern that was negative. And we want positivity. Positivity. So we need to change the error. We need to change something. Well, let's change it to positivity. Let's change it to 
filling our dreams. Let's change it to working for ourselves. Let's change it to being who God wants us to be. Let's change it to fulfilling our purpose. Let's change it to things of positive status. So it's not necessarily wrong or right, because who are we to say what's wrong or right? Um, it's, it's, are you happy? Are you loving? Are you feeling love? Are you feeling joyful? Um, in what you got going on in your lineage, in your bloodline. So if you are the one that's getting and finding that pattern, you may need to sit back and talk to God and see if you are the generational curse breaker for your generation. And step up. Don't let fear make you step back. When that fear hits you, that means you're supposed to do it. That fear hits you because that's the devil. That's the devil like, oh, she finding out. He finding out. They finding out they supposed to be doing this on their purpose while they on earth. I got to try to stop them. Oh, first thing first. Oh, you can't. You can't do it. You ain't got the money. You ain't got the time. You ain't got the resources. That's the first thing he throw at you. You ain't got it. You ain't You ain't capable. You ain't it. And, and, and for some of us, we 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 really believe that. We really believe that. We really believe we ain't we ain't got it. We ain't got the resources. We can't do it. Sight, sight. The birds eat. The fish eat. Everybody eat. That ain't got no job out here. That ain't got nothing going on. Guess who taking care of them? God, God. And guess who gonna take care of you? God. Guess who gonna give you resources? God. Guess who gonna give you your time? God. Guess who gonna give you your your team? God. Just step up, step up, step up and step out, honey, and show out, show out and shine, show out and shine. The sun be shining by himself, baby. You better shine too. He shine by himself. You better come out and shine too. Hello. Hello, somebody. You better come out and be everything that you thought you wasn't because you're going to shock yourself. You're going to shock yourself. You're going to shock yourself. You're going to be like, I could have I ain't just do that. Did I do that? Did I? Did that happen? That is me. Yes, you, you, you did it. It's been in you all this whole time, but it was suppressed. It was suppressed because of of, of what we was taught or what we was told, or you know, it wasn't the normal. No, no, baby, we ain't normal. One thing, we ain't normal, baby. Hello. Step out and be courageous and let God flow through you and you break those curses in your family and you do what you need to do for you and your family because you got to do it for you. You got to do it for God first. You got to do it for God first, but you're the one who got to get into it. You're the one who got to step into it so you can create it for the generation behind you. So you're creating it for, for them, but you got to step into it to create it. So... I was just getting out of the car, honey. He put that on me. He put it on me, so I got to put it out. I can't. I got to listen. I got to listen. So first step, listening. Second step, doing. Third step, you will have it. Be, do, have. Become the person. Do the things. And you will have the glory, baby. You hear what I'm saying to you? So just keep it going. Keep striving. Keep being you. And we're going to go ahead and fly and soar past things that we never, ever, ever thought that we could do. You hear me? We're going to shock ourselves. Period. We're going to shock ourselves. You ready? Let's go. Let's go.